From the trading desk of Daily Forex, this is Christopher Lewis looking at the upcoming January 18th trading session. I have the dollar yen in front of you, and you can see that we fell a bit during the session on Friday as the bearish pressure continues. Right now, though, I think that the 118.5 level is quite a bit of resistance and essentially the ceiling in the market. So I think if we do rally, and it wouldn't be overly surprising to see a bit of a bounce, it should just simply offer a selling opportunity. A breakdown below the lows on Friday is also a selling opportunity, as I think at this point in time we're probably going to head down to the 115 handle. Keep in mind that the S&P 500 and the dollar yen tend to mimic each other quite a bit, and in general risk appetite and risk assets as well will have an influence on this market. Risk appetite is not very strong right now, so it makes sense that we continue to sell off. Over in the New Zealand dollar we fell and we tested the 0.64 level which begins quite a bit of noise below support really. So at this point in time, the fact that we bounced and formed a hammer is not a huge surprise. If we can break above the top of this hammer, I feel that the market could very well bounce for a bit, but it should end up being a selling opportunity. I don't like owning the Kiwi with this total risk off environment that we see. On the other hand, if we break down below the bottom of the hammer, that's normally a sell signal for me, but I think this area here is gonna cause a few problems. So really a bounce up to say maybe 0.66 or so and a selling pressure could be just a simple attempt to build up enough momentum to break down below this. If you are nimble and you can sit and watch the trade, it is possible to buy this pair above the top of the hammer, uh, but really it's only for short-term traders. As for myself, I'd rather wait to see exhaustion after a bounce and simply place the trade there. Mm -hmm.